Hi Grade 4s, welcome to your next lesson of music. Today we're going to be looking at a slightly more complicated, slightly more rapid and quick moving piece. Quick in terms of moving it with the notes, but not quick in terms of beat. So the beat is not going to be like this, but it's going to be da, da, boeva, lo, eighth notes. So this is going to be our first piece out of two pieces for this half of term, because these pieces are going to be a bit tricky, so we're not going to have three pieces like we usually do. Just going to focus on these two and try and get them as best as we can. So let's get straight into it. Let's look at Soldier, Soldier, and let's read out the rhythm. So one thing you'll need to note for this piece is I've only written out the melodies for each line. When you look at the sheet music that I've attached, you'll see that there's both a melody and a harmony. But by now you should be able to differentiate between the two because the grand staff shows the melody and the harmony. So this grand staff is responsible for line one. The second grand staff for line two. Third grand staff, line three. Fourth grand staff, line four. So make sure when you're practicing with the sheet music, which you should be doing because it's always there whenever you're playing for me, is read from the top line because the top line is the melody. So this top line to the second top line to the third top line. Don't read from line, don't read from line one of the melody to line one of the harmony. Then line two of the melody to line two of the harmony. Don't read like a storybook. Read it the way music is meant to be read. The top line of each grand staff. Okay? So let's get to reading the rhythm for the piece of today, Soldier, Soldier. So we have a bunch of quarter notes, some eighth notes, and then over here in the last bar we have a dotted half note, which we hold for three beats. These apostrophes up here are not just apostrophes, they are breath marks. So that's a chance for you to take a breath. All right, so let's start off by reading our rhythm. We have ta, 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 ti, 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 ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 line two, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, 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 ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, a, a, ta, ta, a, ta, a, ta, 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 a, a, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, 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 ta, 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 a, a, a. All right, so this piece has every single rhythmic pattern that we have, every single rhythmic note. So it has quarter notes, eighth notes, half notes, dotted half notes, and even a whole note. So every single rhythmic note that we, that we know. So if you need to go through that rhythm again, just rewind and go through it again with me so you can get it solid. If you have the rhythm solid, then getting the piece will be just a little bit easier. All right, let's start it off. So bar number one, we have line two. What note is that? Uh-huh. And then the next two, and then back to this one. I'm not going to tell you the names of the notes. I want to see if you can get it right by playing with me, all right? So let's go for this note, this whole bar. Three, go. Again. So that should have been G, B, B, G. Next line. Next bar, bar number two. Now we're gonna go in eighth notes. And what you'll notice is bar number two over here is the same as bar number two in line number two and same as bar number two in line number four. So if you get this part, you've got three parts in total. So let's go for it, bar number two. We have A, G, F sharp, E in eighth notes. So slowly, go. Again. Bit quicker. Again. By yourself. A, G, F sharp, E. Let's go to those D and double D for that eighth note. Let's take from this D. Go. Again. Let's put the whole of bar two together, nice and slow. Three, go. Again. And make sure you cover those holes for D. Those one, two, three, four, five, six holes. And also the back, but you use little air. If you use a lot of air, it'll sound squeaky. And we don't want that. We want it to sound nice and good. All right, so let's put bar one and bar two together. Three, go. Again. By 
by yourself, go. Ti ti ta, ti ti. Let's go for bar number three. We have an E. We're going to be skipping a note. So we're going from E to G to F sharp to A. All right. So let's go for it. Three, go. Then in fact, you can hear it drawing itself to that note. So let's take it from this bar up into that G. Go. For three beats. Make sure you don't hold it for. Don't do that. It has to be three beats. Then you go to that B. And take a breath before you do it. All right, let's try bar number three to bar number four. Go. Let's put bar number one all the way till bar number four. So that's the whole of line number one. Three, go. One more time, a little slower. Now you by yourself, whole of line number one. Three, go. Two, three, ka. All right, let's take it to line number two. So for line number two, we have ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti. And it's the same, it's kind of like the same notes that we have over here. We have a G. But now we have B played as an eighth note. Whereas over here, it was just B, B. But now it's going to be B, B. Okay? So let's try that. And it's just the same thing again. So G, B, B, G, B, B. All right? So let's try that out. Three, go. Again. All right? Let's take it to bar number six. So we have... The exact same pattern that we had in bar number two. So let's go for it. From that E all the way to that double D. Go. Again. Let's now take it from bar five to bar six in line number two. Three. Go. Now let's go to bar number seven. We have that same move, E, G. But now we're gonna take it a little bit lower. Instead of going to that F sharp, we're gonna go E, G, D, E, F sharp. All right, so same move here, but then we go to a D, then an E, F sharp, G. Then we play another G instead of a B. So let's try this bar number seven, slowly, from the E up until over here, and that F sharp. Go. Let's just try bar seven by itself. Slowly. Go. Again. By yourself. Go. G, D, E, F sharp. Now let's take it to bar eight. So bar seven to bar eight. Three, go. Go. All right, let's put the whole of line number two together. Three, go. You put the whole of line number two together. Let's put line one and line two together. 
three, go. Good stuff there. So just watch out for that. D, E, F sharp, G, G. All right, let's go to line number three. So now a it's going to be slightly different. We have two double Ds over here held for two half notes. So that's ta, a, ta, a. Let's play that on our recorder. Go. Again. All right, let's take it to bar number 10. So what we have is another D, two Ds, but now played as quarter notes. D, D, then we go to A, F sharp. So let's try that. D, D, A, F sharp. Go. Go. Let's put bar number nine and bar 10 together. Three, go. So now let's take it for bar number 11. We're going from G to E down all the way to these two Ds. So I have a lot of Ds over here. So G, E, D, D. Let's play that out. Three, go. Again. Let's put bar 9 all the way till bar 11. Three, go. Let's finish off with bar 12. We have G held for three beats, then D, D, played as a eighth note. So let's try that, bar number 12. That's the last bar in this line number three. Three, go. Again. Put the whole of line number three together. Three, go. Okay, so let's look at line number four. So line number four is like a mixture of both line number two and line number one because it has the exact same movement for the first two bars in line number two. We have that G, B, B, G, B, B. Same thing in line number two, G, B, B, G, B, B. But then for our second bar, it's exactly the same. A, G, F sharp, E, D, D, D. So D, D, D as that eighth note right there. And then we take it over here, we have our E, G, F sharp, A, the same thing we have in line number one, E, G, F sharp, A, then we hold that G instead of three beats, we hold it for a full four beat. So make sure it's four. A lot of you like holding this four beat whole note as three beats, okay? So make sure it's four beats. All right, let's go for line number four. Three, go. One more time, even slower. Go. All right, let's put line number three and line number four together. Three, go. Let's now put the whole thing, line number one to line number four. 
three, go. So not too bad once you know the parts, at least if you know part one, part two, you've known most of it because part one, and part two are just interfused to make line number four. So let's now try it a little bit quicker for those of us who want to challenge. One, two, three, go. Now you go for it by yourself. We're gonna take it at a nice medium speed so it's not too quick but not too slow. Three, go. One, two, three, four. And all right, grade four, so that's soldier, soldier. So all you need to watch out for is those small little variations. So the difference between line one and line number two being that D, E, F sharp, G, we're climbing up. And then line number three is its own thing. But then line number four is a fusion of both line one and line two. And make sure, very important, make sure you're reading it out of your book. If you're not reading out of your book, then you're going to make mistakes when I actually want you to play with me and if I play the harmony with you. So make sure you're reading it off. So you can find this on facts. I'll always attach it and print it out. Printing it out allows you to actually see the music and have it in front of you. Whether there's power, whether there's no internet, you will always have the music in front of you. And it makes you better at reading it. So don't just watch the video and play it only with me. Make sure you print it out and also practice by yourself because that's what's going to make you good. So... Have fun practicing Soldier Soldier and next week we're going to go for our second piece which is going to be our last piece because it's also a slightly tricky one just the same way Soldier Soldier is. So I really want you to spend time practicing them and getting them really really good because if you do then that means you're moving up levels in recording. Okay so have fun practicing and I'll see you next week. Bye for now grade fours.